Here comes the news. Tiptop Audio has just recently announced a polyphonic patch cable. It's called Polytip. It carries eight analog signals, one for each voice in an eight voice polyphonic setup. And in addition, this cable does not come alone. It's part of a bigger picture, a bigger scheme, a very bold one, very courageous one in my opinion. It's called ART, A-R-T. And it is a digital protocol for transfer of note data, just like MIDI, but 40 times faster, more than 40 times faster, according to TipTop Audio. And this protocol will solve the problem, ostensibly, of polyphony in Eurorack. This protocol will eliminate the problem of tuning. Today in Eurorack, tuning is a relative phenomenon. But art will, just like MIDI, solve that problem by making pitch references absolute. This removes the problem of tuning and makes it much easier to take advantage of polyphony in Eurorack. An eight voice setup in Eurorack today will result in spaghetti. We do not want that. You will have eight cables, one for each voice, going to the VCA, envelope, from the voice, etc., to the filter, whatever. It's a lot of cables. The polytip, the polyphonic patch cable, will carry all eight voices. It's very clean, very efficient. TipTop Audio has also announced nine new modules conforming to this new art protocol. By looking at some of these modules, we will better understand what art will give us. Now, take this module for instance, Vortex 6, a Waytable Oscillator, 6 voice polyphony. Now, if you look closely, you will see that it has polytip connections and your regular monophonic patch cable connections that let, lets you integrate this module, this particular module, into your current Eurorack setup. You can see that at the bottom there are six gate outs, there are six outputs, for one for each oscillator, and these are monophonic so you can modulate these signals with your current Eurorack gear. Notice that the gate is coming out from the oscillator and not as you are used to from the sequencer. Also notice that there are six CV ins that let you for example modulate glide and speed and uh, attack. And uh, there's a separate polytip output for velocity. The polytip outputs will of course be used with other art modules. Now, if you would like true polyphony, you should actually have one filter for each voice. That's six filters. And you would need six VCAs, six envelopes. And uh, in Eurorack today, that would be incredibly expensive. So TipTop Audio has come up with a solution, of course. they have, for example, a filter called the Octopass Polyfilter that let you filter each voice separately. Now, you can use your regular gear to modulate each filter because it has a polytip input that you can connect to a breakout module called Octo Input Output. As you can see, this breakout module has eight patch points and it is bi-directional which means it they can work as either input or output and you can use your regular Eurorack gear to modulate each filter in Octopass Polyfilter. One big concern for me is however great this protocol may seem and personally I I really think it's great, it's courageous, it's bold, it's really Eurorack 2.0 if it goes well. The problem is that if the cables and this protocol is proprietary, then TipTop Audio has a problem. 
The success is depending on what tip-top audio will do in the future. Will this platform be proprietary or open just like Eurek is today? Dieter Dopfer in 1995 made a wise decision to make his new invention open. <laughs> and today Eurek is thriving. There are some 10,000 producers and developers and it's just an enormous ecosystem that I think will not stop growing because of its openness. And I think Tip Top Audio would be wise to adhere to this idea themselves. I don't know about you, but I am a guy who doesn't have an endless amount of money. And to me, presenting a new protocol for polyphony, new modules, new ways of doing it in Eurac is a potential rabbit hole number two. Eurac in itself is so expensive that a transition to a polyphonic setup, if that involves investing a lot of money, I think this bold proposition by Tip Top Audio will struggle. They need to make modules in the future in this series, this art platform that are easy to integrate in current Eurex setups. Seamless integration. So Vortex 6 is a prime example of the way to go. Make it a hybrid module if you can. That is polytip out and ins, but also monophonic patch points. One thing about art that is problematic is that it makes the one volt per octave standard obsolete. It offers absolute pitch references, just like MIDI, and that's the solution we need to make any setup polyphonic. You get rid of the tuning problem. One volt per octave is a relative thing, because one volt per octave is relative to the current tuning of your oscillator. Now, the problem with removing one volt per octave standard is that you also make all sequencers conforming to that standard obsolete. You cannot use a current sequencer to sequence a art module. Because art and sequences uses one volt per octave are not compatible. So that will be a problem to solve. <laughs> 